What if you could turn any text into a video in just seconds? Well, you can, and I am going to show you how. Until now, the true potential of text-to-video technology hasn't been fully realized. We've seen some impressive demos from tech giants like Meta and Google, but the actual applications have been limited to tools such as the forum. These tools provide cool animation effects by merging images, but they don't deliver the true text-to-image capabilities we've come to expect from technologies like Stable Diffusion or Midjourney. I have good news for all AI enthusiasts. The first open-source text-to-video 1.7 billion parameter diffusion model called Modelscope has been released, and it's capable of turning any text to video. Check these examples. A giraffe in a microwave. A dog playing in a park by a lake. A panda driving a car. Dog wearing a superhero outfit. Fast food on a dystopian planet. Teddy bear running in a New York City. Monkey playing piano. Puppies. And even a dancing robot. All of these were created using text to video. I've been trying it too, and here are some of the results I was able to get. Look at these goldfish. A coral reef. Jellyfish. Seahorse. Weird bunny. Star Wars. Dancing skeleton. Bats flying. And even Dracula himself. It's pretty cool, considering how early this technology is. Look at these images of lettuce snails. It's early Dolly. And this is Midjourney V5. That's progress in text-to-image tech made in less than a year. Look at these lettuce pics from Dolly. Not too impressive, right? But look at what Midjourney V5 is capable of. We can expect the same rapid rate of development in text-to-video. So if you want to play with this hot new technology, you can try it for free on Hugging Face. Just type in a prompt and click on Generate Video. There is a chance you will get an error like this. A lot of people are trying this out, so it's best to duplicate the space yourself. Wait some time for it to build the space and you will see a runtime error. That's because the space is duplicated on the free GPU, which is not powerful enough. We can make it work by clicking on Settings and changing it to T4 Medium. This should be powerful enough to handle this model. Then you will need to add your payment details. Then click Confirm New Hardware. Then it will take some time to boot it up on your T4 GPU. Here we have it all working, so we can start playing with it. Let's try a dog on a skateboard. Generating video takes about 1 minute, and you will only get 2 seconds of video. There is also a giant Shutterstock watermark image. It seems like they use Shutterstock images to train this model. Ok, so this is not very impressive. Most of the time you won't get the greatest video. Remember, it's very early technology. Ok, let's try Jedi lightsaber. This is actually pretty interesting. I like it. I wish we had more than 2 seconds though. Let's try something similar. Jedi fight. Well, look at that, it's quite dynamic. Next one. A realistic alien. <laughs> Look at this wink at the end. That's a funny alien. There are some example prompts under the video, like this astronaut riding a horse. It's not bad. Here is a panda eating bamboo. That's nice. Let's try surfing Spider-Man. Interesting. Let's continue with my own prompts. These are bats flying. I really wish we could get more than 2 seconds of video. Here is an eagle flying and it doesn't look bad. Let's try something crazy like a spider-man riding a wolf. Another lightsaber fight. I really like this one, dancing skeleton. Here is a rabbit in space. Look at that, majestic. This bunny transforms into some weird ball. Hmm. This glass of beer actually looks good. This parrot isn't moving much, but at least it doesn't transform into something weird. 
This coral reef is quite impressive, so let's try more underwater creatures. Like a seahorse in the ocean. Jellyfish looks nice too. Goldfish are great too. They move in a very natural way. I like that. Hmm, this butterfly could have been better. Okay, let's try something scary. A vampire. That's interesting. And here is Dracula himself. It's similar to the previous one. And last but not least, we have a dark mansion here. I like how it creates these creepy looking black and white videos. Okay, so we explore this exciting new text to video model. And while it's not much right now, we can expect a rapid pace of development, similar to what happened to text-to-image technology. I'm very excited and I can't wait to create my own high-quality AI-generated videos. If you appreciate this video, please subscribe and check out this video about an interesting 3D AI technology that's going to change video making forever. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.